Hey everyone, it's currently around 6 o'clock in the morning um, and I have got up and I'm going to do my morning routine. Now this takes 2-3 to three minutes and it's just designed to get the body moving. It's not a workout, it's just to try and get joints moving, waking me up and get that blood pumping around the body. It should take no more than 2-3 two two to three minutes and you should feel, I, I feel quite energised after it. So the first exercise is just going to be you jumping up and down on the spot. Arms are nice and relaxed. You can inc include twists if you want. You can jump from side to side. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. Yep. Um, and when it comes to if you've got any ankle injuries or anything that where you're not able to jump, marching on the spot or even going from side to side is fine. Just include the twists. It's just essentially just getting the body waking up. After I've done that, I'll put my hands together and I go for something called the halo. Now the halo is just where your hands go around your head and they come back through. And what this is designed to do, this is designed to help improve your thoracic mobility or just get it moving and help to release that chest as well. So I'm just going to go from the side so you can see what I'm doing here. When it comes to doing this movement, you don't want to arc too far back because that puts a lot of pressure on the lower back. It's more of just going around and trying to stick your chest up into the air as your hands come over your head. And then when it comes to this, I want you to close your elbows together and hide, essentially. And that's just going to help to stretch out your spine through here. So that would be 10 each way. Straight after doing that, you would go for hip circles. So your feet would be shoulder width apart. You'd have your hands on your hips and you're just going to go for a big circle. Yet again, when it comes to going forward, I do not want you to push your hips too far forward because that will hurt your lower back. Um, so just be careful on that. Yet again, that would be 10 each way. Once you've done that, it will be standing on one foot and you can hold on to something if you need to, that's fine, but we're trying to work your stability and we're trying to work ankle mobility here. So you can see my left foot's in the air, so I'll put it a bit higher, and you're just going to go for ankle circles, 10 going one way, 10 going the other way. Once you've done that, you would switch and do the other side. You usually find that the side you opt for first is your stronger side. So just be careful when it comes to doing the second side and it would just be going round 10 each way. The final exercise of this routine would just be a squat. There are so many different ways of doing squats. Um, there is, is, there's people who say have the perfect neutral spine. If it's body weight, I'm not really that concerned just for the fact that um, you're not loading the spine as you're doing this. So for me, I have my feet shoulder width apart. I turn my toes out. Let's see if you can see my toes. There we go, that's better. Um, and then all I do, hands out, and I drop down towards the floor, and back up. So, I'll do it from the side so you can see a bit better. So, feel it turned out, push my bum down, and come back up. If you do have mobility issues, and you need some assistance, for example, you could just use a stand here, put your hands on there, drop down, or could be a chair. Whatever you've got around, or even holding onto the wall. So that would be my morning routine, no more than two to three minutes, but what that's going to do, it's going to help you feel energized afterward. afterwards, it's also going to get blood pumping around the body, um, and it will help you feel a lot better, especially when you're having that, could be mid-afternoon slump, or just when you first wake up and you're quite groggy, just to get that blood pumping around the body. So try and give it a go for around a month, and see how you feel. I mean, I've been doing it for two or three years now, and I, it is a must-do for me. Um, and it's really easy as well. So have a go, see what, see what you think, and let me know. Cheers for listening.